Bomb, 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 bomb. Haha, <laughs> mendarily. Just how I like it. Oh. I just fixed my leg. Hello there is a car. How goes it? Need to fix my my goddamn injury. Not even like a minute in. Hello, Falk. And do I have forty full health? Well, that's problematic. That's really quick to go to a doctor. Oh, good, sorry. I have a good one. I am well. Hopefully, your migraine isn't too bad. Hello, Michael. How goes it? Got some uh, <clears throat> commercial, commercially. Got some interesting mods. I downloaded some new mods. Got rid of some old ones. We got a cool weapon mod and a ship weapon mod that we'll be trying out just to kind of fiddle with while I try and find the doctors. Is it this way? Is it uh... Is it... Oh good, sorry. If you do, I will be here. Go to the Union to vary it with an angle. Yeah! I know that one you just you talk of. This is the longest walk ever to a hospital. This is but, uh where you take, remove and add uh no, uh sadly. Hello elevated. No, the weapon mod I'm currently using is the pulse rifle from Alien. Um that is a, a well-known mod. It's something I've been looking into. Um, so I don't really fiddle too much with those sort of mods myself, just because you can mod your own legendaries in general if you have console commands. Yeah, the that's what I mean. It's 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 a definitely a weird one. I'm not sure if that's oh, there's the hospital. I'm not sure if that's uh, hello elevator by the way. In case I didn't say it already. I'm not sure if like that's triggered by something. But what is nice haircut, my guy? Jesus. Yo, Doc, I need some fixing. You got any crutches? Welcome to the land medical. If you're injured or sick, we can almost certainly assist you. Almost. Welcome to our alliance. If you're in need of medical assistance or require supplies, I am sure we can accommodate you. Um, yeah, Doc, I need help. So, what brings you in today? I broke my leg. It's a good thing you came in to see me. We'll get you feeling better in no time. Good as new. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Watch as I break my leg trying to leave this godforsaken place. Oh. Alright. Now, can I loop back around to the tram? I think so. This perk I have lets me jump higher. It's like I've, I I need to figure out how to remove it with console commands. Yep, yeah, there is an angry Cora. One of the uh, one of the kind of the new game pluses. That's an option. There's quite a few interesting new game pluses. Of course, I get the kind of boring one where it's just loads of children.
Yes, happy happy 420. That uh, that video that was definitely um meant to upload today with the 420 fuel. <coughs> it wasn't a completely pure chance. I mean, if you're on a, there'll be a mod for that eventually. It would be cool if you could kind of talk her down and be like, look, I'm sorry. How about we go through the unity and you try and, you know, find your things. All right, so let's, let's check out some of these. Thank you. I don't know if you mean that ship or the ship from the video, but either way, yes. Thank you. All right, so check. <laughs> so I'm using a weapon pack today called... Um, it is called Yamco, and as you see there, one of the first weapons we could get is this absolute monstrosity. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know how you would use this weapon. It is definitely a BFG. Um... So the this this mod basically adds like a it kind of reskins or like re re reskins some of the weapons to make them interesting. So like so for instance, this is an orbital defense battery. Um, yeah, it's it's we'll try and fit it in. And then there's this one here. It's an anti-capital laser. It it's like they're using the same assets obviously from the main game, but this is a anti-capital laser turret, Hellfire missile launcher. A uh, Yamco Rappa machine gun, a rocket launcher, a Matador shot cannon, uh, and a yeah. So we're gonna we'll uh, we're gonna modify the ship a little bit. We're going to put some guns on this bad boy and see how it performs. I do want to put the absolutely broken weapon on. But we'll wait a minute. Where did I put my... There they are. Alright, so we're gonna... Bum, bum. I also have a mod that lets me... Technically speaking... I can place things wherever I want. And they just function. Which... We'll, we'll try that in a moment. So we've got... We've got the Hellfire Missiles. We'll put some Hellfire Missiles here. And we'll put another one here. Be the warm fuzzies. <laughs> and then we have, where is our anti-capital laser battery? We're going to put these here. Getting them in here is going to be slightly tricky. <coughs> bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Right, just 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 to make like it less tricky, we're just gonna do that, and then we'll put some. So we've got the MG twenty C. See the little lore blurb, which um. So, the Rappa machine gun developed by Yamashita Corporation sports a radial anti grav propulsion. So, pretty cool. So, we're gonna. Hello? Why do you not. What is going on? You can only place one side. Uh, hello? What? Well, that's slightly weird. Okay, that's gonna bother me a little bit, but. Uh, ship contains module that exceeds reactor class. What? Oh, there's C class. Okay, we need to uh, quickly put a C class reactor somewhere. Uh, we're going to rip this out. And we're going to slap a C class. Bum, ba, ba, ba. There we go. Keep clicking, it may eventually. Well, this... Oh, whoops. What the hell? That's not supposed to look like that. Thing is, I can try... There we go. There we don't go. 
Oh no, I got an idea. Um, we're going to uh, raise this up one level. Okay, you, 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 you're killing me. Spa uh, I, I'm, I'm on Xbox. I can, I can fix it. Don't worry, I'm professional. Um, we're going to. Um, we're gonna raise this up one like that. In the words of baby Jesus, where there's a will, there's a way. I'm 90% sure he said that. Um, so we'll go with that one. We'll go, that will be our capital laser battery and our missile launchers. Only one reactor is, oh, oh, oh. Where is my actual reactor? Oh, this is going to be problematic trying to find the fucking thing. Nope. Nope. Found the reactor, we're good. And then we just need to, uh... Need to duplicate this. Oh! Da, da, da. What is going on here? Okay, interesting. Uh, we're gonna have to cannibalize the ship slightly just to get it to work. But you know, it's 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 yeah, we'll we'll, we'll make it work. Need a grab drive, and I need some fuel. Um, there we go. We got a grab drive. Can I? Can I like merge you up? It's not going to look pretty, but it'll function. And what's the ship is using too much power. What weapon is this? Okay, yeah, this one is eight. So we're going to... We're going to put that on the middle. And put them there. All right, let's try this. This should uh this should be interesting to say the least. Hello Mona. Thank you. Hope you have a good evening yourself or a good night, I should say. Let's take off. So I see now why this mod required another mod where you can place objects without having to worry about the error of parts not connected. So let's try sort of ballistics. Oh, they're cool. Our missiles. Oh! Okay, my... My capital laser is not working. But this is cool. Oh, <laughs> that's fair. Thank you, Nolgroth. We're, uh... We're experimenting with some mods. Alright, let's let's head to this planet. Because I'm, uh... I don't know how people, like, work at night, just because... It's so, uh... Name of the mod again. The mod is... Oh, give me a moment. I can... Tab out. Nine missiles per shot. Yeah, it's she pretty nice. So the mod, it's called the Yamashita Corporation Essential Weapons Pack. So let me, uh, oops, we come back to me, Jesus. There we go. Perfect. All right. So the laser beam doesn't laser. Laser. 
so we're gonna go back down to the planet and replace it just because you know it has to look cool yeah I'm, I'm a bit of an out home myself mona but um i feel like see you probably get a lot because like it's and, and for anyone else there that works nights because i know mantis uh he's probably not here right now but he used to work a lot of nights and it's generally very, like, not taboo, but, like, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, night worker, not sociable hours and stuff. I know who you are, Falcon. Don't worry, I remember. Well, excuse me. Drinking a Luke, say, trying to keep my energy up. Uh, let's. Anything I can help you with? Sure. Uh... All right, so we're going to replace this one because it's broken. And we're going to port. So we've got... Do we think the turret will work? We'll put the turret on. Ah, okay, okay. We'll put the tur turret on, see how it works. Maybe it works, maybe it won't. Uh, if the turret doesn't work, though, it's all good. See, it's the anti-capital laser. Yeah, which is, that's, that is nice, to be fair. Us gooder guys. Us other guys don't have utters. <laughs> hey, now you might have others. You never know. All right, let's go try out these weapons. It's going to look completely bonkers when I use that big one in a minute. Our missions. Let's destroy the pirate fleet. Oh. Don't mention Flippy's mother, Mona. That's not a Latin. No, I'm joking. All right, let's see. Is Crimson about to get absolutely bullied? Probably, probably. There, there's a high probability. We also still have that mod on where, like, there's rat concealed signal. We'll check that out in a minute. <laughs> nothing, Flippy. We, we said nothing at all. No, nothing. <laughs> well, welcome, Flippy. All right, let's see if the capital ship gun works. Um... Okay, well, let's... Oh my god, the missiles are so cool. Oh. Ow. The, I will say, the Hellfire missiles are awesome. Okay, that is completely overkill. <laughs> with a rage ring, so... <laughs> Accurate. See, why can't we have, like, these sort of guns in-game? Like, yeah, look at that! The noise that I'm shaking my head in, like, you know, in... What would you call it? Um, what's the word? Um, I forgot the, um, recoil. Yeah, no, I know. Rage Raiden. <laughs> I need to clip that one in the stream. Flip you or me and TJ like you're angry. It is. It's a mi machine gun. Oh, you don't take prisoners? That's funny. How you like my missiles? Uh oh. Oh, a smuggler. Rattle. Yeah. We've got, like, the Burt Cannon from, uh... See, now, what difficulty am I playing on? Am I on very hard? No, I'm on, we got We gotta crank that up, let's be real here. We gotta give them a chance. Oh, the missile's trapped! If you actually listen, I don't know if you guys can hear this, when I finger the trigger, oh, hey, you can hear the particles. It sounds like particles. So they must have used the particle um, models, maybe? I just, like, now I want to just fly in, like, fly down to, like, a three-star military outpost and just bombard the fuckers. Alright, let's, uh, 
So far, I haven't found anything really better than my upgrade shield breaker level 60. You should just keep leveling and buy it. I mean, I feel like if you're at that level, you got to make your own ship, you know? Like, take the best attributes from the shield breaker and kit it like... Kit it kind of how you would be like, you know, like, oh, I wish it was better. I mean, realistically, shield breaker is a good ship. Oh, you're going to enjoy this? You can enjoy my missiles. That is so satisfying. All oh, these machine guns are OP. Yeah, they, I mean, realistically, they need, I feel like they maybe need to be balanced a little bit. Uh, my capital turrets are doing absolutely nothing. I know, I know a guy that, uh, does, uh, he's a YouTuber that does, like, builds on how, you know, how to make your own ships. That was sarcasm. I'm talking about me. Dude, I think, I think, like, obviously, like, it's, it's definitely fun using, co like, you know, built, um, vanilla ships and stuff. But there's something really nice about, you know, like, building your own ship. Which is fair. Why is there an enemy little mole? Yeah, I'm gonna actually get close and let the turret... Because it's supposed to be a continuous beam. How close do I need to get them? Alright, we're gonna board this little mov. Just because I think there's pirates. I still just have the Frontier and Shield Breaker. Well, the thing is, what sort of, like, ship are you looking for? So, like, you have the Shield Breaker. That's, like, mainly a combat vessel. Like, you're looking for, like, a, a C-class combat vessel, or are you looking to kind of have more of an all-arounder? Hello, Aiden. How goes it? We're currently uh, fiddling with some, some weapon mods. I think I found my new favorite weapon mods. Uh, modded weapons currently hello is there pirates here a singular watermelon what does it say once a favorite earth summertime once a favorite of earth summertime barbecues uh yeah no it, it's it's civilian but I promise I didn't shoot it oh there is hello there This is the UC, uh, uh, Strategic Defense Force. Oh, you're in the toilet? I apologize. Oh, I'll come back. Can you imagine you're just taking a poop? And, like, your ship gets boarded? It's like, do you just sit there and just finish your poop? Or do you, like, awkwardly waddle up and try and, you know... Get that wipe in and grab your gun? Punch me. So this is supposed to be... Yeah, so there's there's an... Uh, I download, like, where it's more encounters. Find the tire. Yes, I am flying it. Glad you spotted it. Ooh. She might... Uh, the... <clears throat> that's one of, one of my vessels. I like to, uh, lock the bathroom door. <laughs> Just, like, you hear a knock. There's like, there's no one in here. Yo, stop running, dude. Just deep. Bro, what the fuck? It would be instant panic, just like when you need to poop a delivery guy. It's like, no, oh, there's nothing worse when, like, you're waiting on a delivery and the guy's like, oh, yeah, you know, I'll be here at this time. And, like, the time comes, he's not there. Like, okay, I'll quickly do something. And then there's the knock on the door. It's like, motherfucker, you better wait. Oh, God. It's like, you know what? If I burn, at least I burn with an empty, uh, empty colon. All right, let's uh, let's go uh, do some more shoot to shoot to bang bang. Do I have do I have an upgrade station on this ship? I think I do. Yes, I do. Perfect. Um, weapon. <clears throat> 
So we can we can modify this gun quite a bit because it's based on the alien gun. Now there's a couple of funny ones. There's two versions of this. So there's the base version, and then there's another version that actually adds the ammo counter. But uh, the way I think the way the ammo counter works is it basically uses the base model of the um. What is the rifle called? It's the AA-14. But you can put like a shotgun barrel on it, and it. She looks a tiny bit funky. There's also a sniper barrel. What does the sniper barrel do? Oh my god, that's kind of large. Uh, how long does it normally take for reals? Um, realistically, it should be instant. Um... <clears throat> It, it, it depends, though. Also, um, anyone here that's familiar with the Alien franchise, I know we have some uh, some people that were born around the time of the moon landing. Uh, are any of these, like, actual things from the Pulse Rifle? Because I know there's the shotgun, but the shotgun was more just Ripley attaching. No, no, she attached it to a flamethrower. <sighs> got armor piercing. We need a... Extend. Oh, there we go. Hey, oh, that looks kind of cool. It is very epic. There's a shotgun bag. You know, we'll do we'll we'll, we'll do the sniper one. It looks a bit funky, but we'll go with it. Never mind. We need stuff. Some mods maybe from Alien. Ah, that's what I'm thinking. Cause like I watched the movies. Yeah, they definitely did go quite modular. Like, it, it looks cool. I've always been a huge fan of the Pulse Rifle from Alien. It's such a cool weapon. Yeah, we're, there is no Underslug Grenade Launcher, sadly. Which is a weird one, because... Oh, yeah, no, that's one of the things I like. I'm, I'm usually a bit kind of... I find it hard to watch, like, certain... See, now that looks cool, the ergonomic stock. But I don't know, again, I don't know if that's... I'm assuming it is. Like, the guy who made it did a phenomenal job. So I'm assuming all of these are, like, lore-friendly. You can also change the color. We got the nerf for nothing, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but yeah, generally, no, the, the Habs should load in immediately. Um, I will say, uh, me and my girlfriend, uh, and a couple, I think Flippy might, we might play with Flippy, uh, Alien... Alien Fire Team's a very fun kind of horde base kind of co-op shooter with classes really enjoyed playing it um now i haven't i kind of want a gold one it was a very fun game and the thing is one of the things i think with games like that is uh yeah it was very fun flippy is like the thing is those games are super fun but when it takes them a while to kind of bring out new content it can be... Would you like to see any World War II weapons in this game? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't mind it. I know that's a lot of the Star Wars mods. When you play as Alien Games, your girlfriend, which one? You get scared first, you both. Uh, she's not a scary person. I am. I tried to play Alien um, Isolation. By Jesus, I screamed like a child. Yeah, it is on Xbox. It's still out. It's it's pretty fun. Um, I haven't checked in a while, but last time I looked was maybe like last year. They brought an update. It's basically like um, imagine like Gears of War Horde mode, but aliens. It's really fun. Uh, let's undock. All right, let's head to uh. Yo, turret, I know you want to kill that, but you're not allowed to. Oh, hell, I'll kill it anyway for the memes. Oh. Excuse me? Did my miss? How do missiles bounce? Yeah, no, she doesn't flinch at all. Somebody had to be... That's, uh, yes, isolation. You have to be very quiet. It'll be fun, but I want to see more. Yeah, like, 
realistically, like when I did the, the video on like the melee weapons, I was kind of shocked how most of the melee weapons are pretty generic. Like I might, next next time I'm doing the stream, I might download, there's a, a lot of Star Wars mods. Um, might download a lightsaber mod just to see. But yeah, Isolation was really fun. There's also one that came out recently. There's an XCOM game, I style game. That looks kind of fun. I'm a big fan. I've ever done the other Fantasy Gamer channel. Uh, I haven't. The only real games I've done aside from Starfield is I did some DMC. And I did a little bit of... Um, oh, what was that game? I really enjoyed playing it. Um, what was it called? Uh, Rev, 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 Remnant 2? I really enjoyed playing that game, but it's... Uh, None of my friends wanted to play it. Not them and I names. It's kind of fun though. It was very Dark Soulsy, but like combo. Is that because Mila is good? Yeah, Mila is very. Which is, that is fair, Tanner, bro. If you have one, I would definitely. But Mila, like Mila, is more in this game. You need, you need more like um because somebody mentioned him, and I'm not sure who, but there's like. There's, like, certain drugs and chems in the game you can get that make melee, like, a lot better. Oh, you didn't. That's fair, Flippy. Why is my turret, like, I want to shoot something? That was when Flippy, Flippy went through a phase where he's like, I'm going to be a PC gamer. And Crimson at the time was like, bro, I only have an Xbox. And he's like, we can play some games. All right, you know what we're gonna do? We gotta, let me hold on now. All right, ship. Get the hell out of here. Bye. That's it, it's probably one of the nice looking ship I've made. Did it just phase through the thing? Okay, let's not talk about it. Abandoned research tower. Whoa! We're good. We're good. We're good. Surprisingly, I didn't break my leg. I can walk through a landmine, but God forbid I jump from four feet. Oh. What? Do you guys ever remember there used to be like a bug in Elder Scrolls where... If someone, an NPC, entered a door, I would love to, but currently I don't think you can. Hopefully they bring out a, a mod at the very least, but... Because I did... One of the things I mentioned in a video, I'd like to see five things I'd like to see. It is the ability to take over some of these POIs. But there used to be a bug in, in, uh, in Elder Scrolls. It's not really a bug, I suppose, but if an NPC opened a door uh, before you, um, the door would open... And then if you pressed on it, the door would close instead of open. So there'd be so many times I'd click on the door and be like, oh, this is a long loading screen. I realized I never actually opened the door to, like, go through. Yeah, see, that's one of the benefits of, of uh, my friendship circle is uh, I can be kind of uh, demanding in a nice way. This is the post rifle from Alien. It's very nice. I guilt trip my friends into playing games. I'm like, wow, Flippy, you don't have an Xbox? You should buy an Xbox. Play it. What I, I always feel like I'm going into a butcher shop with that. Oh, that sound. Oh. That sound. That irks me. Hello. You having a good day? You having a good day now? Um, I probably won't pre-order it in a nice way. He says, I won't pre-order it just because, but I'll definitely get it. Do we know if it's going to be on Ubisoft Plus? It's fine. It's fine. There's no one here. Uh, praise the serpent. That doesn't seem like very health and safety. Ooh. Yeah, like, 
Thankfully, more games nowadays are going the route of kind of, um, like, cross-platform in certain regards. Like, I know COD was a good one. As much as I kind of not a huge fan of normal COD, the DMZ kind of was handy. Uh, what are the games that we played that was cross-play, Flippy? Halo's a good one. Oh. Is this what NVIDIA are trying to make? A super powerful pro. Oh, 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 that's cool. Is there a moon on that? Wait, what? I can throw things? Oh. Did you guys know you can throw stuff in this game? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, some games, Flippy has problems. Like, weirdly, one of the games, Flippy, that we never really had much lag issues when we used to play Ark, which is ironic, because Ark has a lot of problems in itself, but Ark was kind of a good game. Well, now I'm just going to throw stuff. I see Halo Halo's been having a lot of issues over the last kind of couple of years with its servers. It's they're supposed to have gotten them like properly, you know, working down, but what is that? A little succulent plant. It's a cute little plant. Oh, can I pick up and throw these? Oh, <gasps> I can throw these. That's pretty cool. Anyway. Hello, how's Faroon? I have come to kill you. I was going to do the Terminator, but then I realized it's the wrong franchise. Do you think the Terminator would win a fight between the an alien? Throwing stuff is very... <laughs> I never thought of that. Doro Wat, a very rich, very spicy chicken stew. Did you tell me to leave? Did you tell me to leave? Can I hit him with something? Yo, you want to read a book? Heretic? Why are you dressed like a goddamn pirate? Oh, brisket sounds amazing. I've never had, like, proper brisket, but I've always wanted some. Whoever activated the alarm, that was completely unnecessary. Let me turn that off. Okay, has a... Uh, who's, who's that, Aiden? There's on our wheel. Is that hamster Flippy? Oh yeah, like Australia gets shafted. Like Flippy, you have quite good. Like your speed is quite good. Uh, when it comes to but the delay, the kind of the ping issue is kind of what it is. Like we'll be playing games and I'll be like, God damn, I think I'm lagging. My ping's like thirty, and Flippy's like, Oh, I can't look at my ping. I'm like fucking four hundred, and I'm like, Yeah. Uh, I would, but I feel like are you. I don't think you're allowed to send. Well, you might actually be allowed to send food. You just get like a call from like the uh, customs, like yo, uh, someone tried to send you food. Would you like? Like yeah, yeah. No, no, stop. Where the fuck even are you? Shit away. From the alarm. You can email it to you. <laughs> Alright, see you later, bro. Uh, it was the trailers and walkthrough. Oh, she's a phrase to call the trailer. Okay, okay, cool. See, one of the things I kind of liked with, uh, with, uh, b -b with Fallen Order 
Well, he's gone. Is I love that you could kind of customize the inside a little bit and stuff. And hopefully with the new one, we're, with, with Outlaws, we're going to be able to customize it more. I think, I think Starfield has kind of spoiled us all when it comes to, like, customizing stuff. Earth Runa isn't the best. No, a few patient person. They come to Melbourne servers. They say, like, yeah. Thing. Uh, no, you didn't miss much. Um, we're just, uh, we're having a philosophical debate with these House Rune about religion. So far, I'm winning. Hello, Agamemnon. How goes it? Yeah, no, it was uh, Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor. Very good games. Weirdly though, I had to turn the, the I had to turn the difficulty to Padawan because I was just very bad. I'm very bad at those games where you have to block and dodge. Agamemnon, you're 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 a middle aged person. You're knowledgeable on alien, aren't you? I say middle aged, I think I'm also middle aged. <laughs> Flippy, it's so bad when she but takes her out. Yeah. It's like, that's one of the things I feel like is cool about living in places like America or Australia. Is like, you can live, depending on where. Uh, so no Elden Ring play through that. God, no. No, no, no. Although apparently Elden Ring is one of the easier Dark Souls games to play. Elden Ring and Dark Souls. Yeah, see, I've just... Oh, no, okay, fair, fair. I, I like it. Um, me and TJ, one of my friends, we always like having kind of philosophical debates about Alien versus Predator. Uh, what sort of things you customize ship should have fallen all over, as I didn't know. Uh, like, ow. You could you could add a little garden, which was really really cool. That I really liked, and then you could mainly customize the cut. No, not much of the interior. Oh. Be made of dust. Where are you? Hello. Are they the same games when we sleep? It's a fun community though. Uh, yeah, the garden and the like, the interior or the exterior kind of is great, but it gets boring. Yeah, I feel like you need to have good internet if you're gonna live in the middle of nowhere. I've been like just singing Flippy can attest I've been just singing the Fallout uh, Even though they're not Fallout songs They're like the old school Americana songs I always get Confused in this area That's like the ratio of Mel's Ring in the previous games I 100% of the ring They never happen with the Yeah Where are you, fuckers? Where the fuck? Oh, you're down here. Hello. Ha ha! No, no, don't hit the alarm. This would 100% be me. I'd like lock myself in the kitchen. Where's our, we need our, uh, where's our, there we go. There's our five kilograms of lettuce and tomatoes. I'd fall right on last time I played. Yeah, see, I really, wait, ooh, what is that? Par, pap, papardelle bolognese. Broad, long ribbons served in a meaty red sauce. Ooh. Chicken marsala, pan fried chicken. Spaghetti. Oh, now this. Oh, spaghetti carbonara. I can get behind that. Also, I don't know how eating spaghetti carbonara would give you more oxygen. Can we confirm, Michael? Have you ever eaten spaghetti before going diving? Does it give you more oxygen? Or oh, chicken. T now that that whole fridge is my my, my uh my 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 meals. I love chicken tikka. Oh no no no! It's not tikka. It's korma. I love. Sorry. Teak is a bit too spicy for me. All right, see you later, Moda. Have a good stream. We got some alcohol. A can of bacon. Oh, hell yeah. We're set, guys. 
Oh. Bloody tea. bring this with me next time some random British woman asks me for potatoes I'll be ready wait how far can I troll 19 kilograms of potatoes my like Olympic I should be in the Olympics I just threw like 30 pounds onion rice with a honey down oh I've never had butter chicken I've always wanted it we don't have very many Indian places near me. Like, you go to the bigger cities and stuff, or bigger. We've only got, like, two big cities, and both of them are a while away. But, like, in the bigger towns, we've Indians and stuff, but... Alright, I sh if I throw... Oh, whoops. If I throw this box but 19 kgs of potatoes, I should easily be able to knock someone out. The Potato Olympics. Oh. He just shoot my... Sir. I'm gonna bring these with me. Let me, uh... Watch someone launch 500 cabbages off the top. Oh, God. That's the strat. Yeah, I just... I noticed that. It's Evan. Also, love the name. I'm a big fan of Mass Effect myself. Uh, is it me, Kermit? Is a game for the walkthrough about laws? You get the privilege if didn't remind you of Jedi Fallen Order. Um... I mean, to be honest, it's... Oh, my God. They did damage to it. Why does it... Is that what particles look like? No, no, I want to put my weapon away. How rude. I know, it's just very rude. <clears throat> I mean, to be honest with you. Not overly fond of potatoes. I like chips, but... Like everybody likes... Or fries for the Americans. Now, where's the exit? Yeah. <laughs> we got some deep fried potatoes. I don't know. I I wouldn't I wouldn't try uh, eating potatoes that have been shot with a particle weapon. Bum, bum, bum. See, I haven't. I've seen the the trailer for. Oh, here we go. Where? Where's the landing pad? Oh, there it is. Alright, let's call in my ship. We have secured the supplies. Pierogies. That's a Polish dish, isn't it? Hanna <laughs> Solo. Oh, God. <clears throat> uh, ship control. We're going to call in my ship. See, when it comes to, like, Europe and stuff, like, a lot of European uh, places, like, they have a lot of kind of different dishes and stuff. Ireland's kind of meh. You know, like, we basically have, like, stew and, like, cabbage and bacon, which I don't really think you can't... I don't think you... You can't really combine spuds, a vegetable, and a meat and call it, like, a dish. Or, like, claim it as a dish. Where did my... Where did my potatoes go? Oh, there they are. Coddle. See, that's weirdly, that's that's a Dublin thing. And it's basically just like a bacon stew. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I, I, it might be Polish. It, 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 I've had them once and they're really nice. No, ramp's open. We got our potatoes. We're going to store them nice and snug. There you go, potatoes. Where's the door? Now, my potatoes. Alright. Let's, uh, fast travel. 
fast travel back to the Alpha Centauri and do something really stupid with our ship. Ship? Ship. Ship, okay. Bum, ba -da -da, bum, ba -da -da. For my Americans out there, what's your guys' opinion on the Charleston Chew? Studying, you should inspect your Sure, how about it? All right, chat to you later, Aiden. <laughs> You're not a fan, Alpha. I got like a a thingy box. Yeah, we're 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 uh we're, we're we got a gun here, Flippy. I right, need to go lower. How how am I supposed to use this weapon? Do I put it, like, underneath? It is. If I could, uh... Yes, that's what I was gonna say, Shari. I got, like, a thing... ...with them once. And they were pretty... Alright, we're gonna have to build a ship for this, you know that? What's it saying? Ship is max... Well, it's gonna fucking be max height, clearly. Is this just like a troll, or can I actually use this? We're gonna get this weapon working if it's the last thing I do. Why is it moving around or so? Okay, there we go. See, it's too big. I don't know, but I. All good, Tabro? I don't think I can use it. Which is a little depressing. So what do we got? We got... That's sad to me. Uh, what do we got? We got the... Rhino Horn. Ooh. Let's put these on instead. We've got the Matador Shot Cannon. Gonna, <clears throat> we're just gonna we're gonna butcher the ship slightly. And then we're gonna change the um So we got the fifteen, thirty and C turret. So which ones are these? These are the thirty, so we're gonna put the the fifteen A's. And 
no. Um, machine gun. Shot cannon. There we go. Yeah, hopefully it is too, because the one in game. The thing is, the one in game has such good potential, but it's just so mediocre. Alright, let's go to that place. Caramel. What, she says caramel? It's normal for Irish people to say car caramel. Um, I've never heard anyone say it that way myself. This looks like an unusually long loading screen. I may have broken my game. Give it a minute while I talk to you glorious people. Now I want to hear Michael saying caramel in his uh, in his southern accent. I said caramel. <laughs> caramel. <laughs> See, the, um, yeah, no, like, I, I got one before. I got, like, a box uh, for my cousin's birthday one time. And it was, like, some of this stuff's really, really nice. Yeah, this, excuse me, my game just froze. Let me... This is one of the downsides of using mods. All right, we'll be one second. The, like, the, I feel like I'll give it America's, like, kind of, like, more uh, traditional sweet sort of stuff is really nice. Like, the, the taffy you guys have is really nice. Some of the kind of chocolate, not the chocolate themselves, but some of the stuff you guys put in the chocolate is really nice. The one thing that kind of caught me off guard is Twizzlers. So in in Ireland and England, in the United Kingdom, I should say, we have like laces, like strawberry laces, and like they taste strawberry, a bit artificial, but strawberry. But by Jesus, those yeah, I crashed. By Jesus, those um, those Twizzlers taste of absolutely nothing. There's Jeremy. Good up, big up, Jeremy. He's just guiding us on our stream today. Let's, uh, there we go. Da, 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 hey, my potatoes came with me. Oh. oh okay, we're here, love. Bum, ba, da, da, bum. Hello, Tenebro. We missed you. You didn't miss much, I just, my game crashed. Back, front, up, down, left, right, B up A. Shari, what's your, uh, and also Agamemnon, um, I don't know if we have many other Brits here, so most people won't get the reference, but what is your guys' favorite snack? I'm a fan of the purple snack myself. Think you can't go wrong with a nice purple snack. You should inspect your okay, no problem. Ba -da -da -ba -da -da -ba. All right, let's uh, let's try not to crash the game again. <clears throat> Weapons? No, no, no. In game, like, well, no, I crashed in game. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, no, 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 uh, snack is like a brand of, uh, chocolate bar in, uh, this region. You've got purple snack, which is like, um, it's like this little milk chocolate bar with, like, a biscuit. Uh, there's yellow snack, which is like these little kind of, like, cracker-sized things with chocolate over them. And then there's pink snack, which is basically like, imagine Kit Kat with wafer instead of, well, actually... Kit Kat does have wafer now that I think of it. Alright, so where's our... We've got our... This one.
Don't hate me. I'm in the home of... You've never had a snack? What is wrong with you? They're phenomenal. They they are. They're they're really nice. See, one of the things for, for you Americans, and just I know there's probably more than just Americans, but if you ever can try like Cadbury's chocolate, it's very nice. Uh, it it is actually it would be quite like a Kit Kat. You've never had one either? Is it an Irish thing? No, it's not. They're Cadbury's. I just looked at the box. I don't even know who sell them. What the hell? Yeah, no, they've been, they're a huge staple. You sell them here when I was a kid. Yeah, no, they're... Oh, they're phenomenal. Kit Kat Chunk... Oh, here comes Dead Lady. Kit Kat Chunkies. Eh, I do like a Kit Kat Chunky. I can't lie. I like a Kit Kat Chunky. Because that's the thing is, you, uh, the kick, dead lady, you have, they have snack over there, don't they? Because according to the Agamemnon and Shara, trying to gaslight me into saying they don't exist. Um, shot cannon. You never a Kit Kat Chunky? Kit Kat Chunky, uh, I mean, it, it very well could be. Kit Kat Chunky is basically, imagine a Kit Kat, but instead of it, uh, no stack here, that's a general. Oh! Oh! Okay, okay, yeah, but Kit Kat Chunky Flippy is basically, imagine like a giant Kit Kat in like a size of a Mars bar, just one singular Kit Kat the size of a Mars bar. Really, really nice. Can't go wrong with them. Let's pray my game doesn't crack again this time. Whereabouts are you from, Islagor? So I know your region. I can, I can know. Yeah, well, we have them over here, not in all shops. I've seen them in. They're, they're very nice. Oh, okay, Texas Fair. <laughs> yeah, you, you may. I mean, you never know. In, in these days, somewhere Wilford is screaming diabetes. <laughs> all right, let's head to. They're not average. You know what's a big one? Again, growing up, penguin bars. They're again. I think they're more of a European thing. They're basically like these little bars uh, with like a kind of biscuit on the bottom and top. We have chunkies, but it was a square. Ah, uh, Reese, if you re uh, Reese products, yeah, okay. it probably Freddles. Freddles, yeah, Freddles aren't too bad. They're a bit pricey over here. Not gonna lie, they're a bit pricey. What is that? Uh, sensor contact. Let's really quickly actually grab the mission. I'm not stacking. I'm just saying there's something to push much over here. And we ah, okay, okay. There they are, God tier. I love the jokes on the back of them. Because weirdly, penguin bars, at least over here, they were always sold in a multi-pack. You could never really buy them individually. If you could buy them individually, it was a business owner who was blatantly opening multi-pack stuff and selling them, which I'm pretty sure is illegal. Uh, they aren't. If you have Sainsbury Club, you get Freddo. Ten yeah, I've seen that! 10p Freddos. I've read it's like... Here we have Millier's. Yeah, Galaxy. That we do have Galaxy. Galaxy is really, really nice. Super luxurious chocolate. But you can't eat a lot of it. You eat too much of it and it just gets a bit... Milky Way is another one. Because our Milky Way is different. Our Milky Way is basically like nougat, as they call it. Nerds. Oh, nerds are nice. What are the other things I have? Uh, not Jolly Ranchers. Um... Is it Jolly Ranchers? They're like these kind of beanie baby ones. White chocolate biscoff kick catch up. Oh, see, now I've never had that. White chocolate. Oh, that sounds amazing. Yeah, because I've seen is it Japan has all these like really cool. Um... Oh, my game has crashed. Uh, oh, Cadbury's all the way. Like Galaxy is nice every now and again, but Cadbury's all the way. All right, so let's try these weapons. So we've got. Oh, that's a shotgun. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, you're... Yeah. Three Musketeers is that. Oh, I've heard of that one. I've heard of that one. Yeah, Agamemnon is... Uh, man is versed on the... Uh, on the chocolate. We have... To be fair, we've been getting, like, more... Uh, 
Oh, our Milky... Yeah, see, I like Milky Way. Milky Way, they're very nice. But the uh, Aldi, you can get like the knockoff ones and like Aldi and Tesco. I'm messing with the fleet. How you like 90 millimeters of tungsten? As I, as I miss everything. Okay, so the shotgun is the shit in this as it is. As the base one, which... Uh, these are cool, though. Magic stars. I like magic stars. Uh, hey, hello there, Mantis. How goes it? Happy 420... Um, I, I, I don't partake in the, in the, the, as they call it, the Gange myself, but you know, to the, the Gange partakers, you know, you do you. All right, I'm going to really quickly, I want to just add only turrets of these to the ship and we're going to have like a PDC battle. Ba -na 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 -na. There's Michael, man's just lurking the devil's lettuce. Oh, hold on now. My phone went off and I didn't see it. The Alien Smarties? I don't remember Alien Smarties. All right. I've been lost. That's that's always good. Sometimes I'd give my left kidney just to be able to kind of enjoy like Fallout 4 or Skyrim again. All right, UK Smarties another set. Yeah, they're not. So I don't I don't mind Smarties. I wouldn't be like overly gone on them, but they're not too bad. All right, we're about to have we're about to make the Rosinante. And by that, I mean we're just going to have a lot of turrets. Oh! The turret power. This is going to be amazing. Alright, we're going completely overkill here. Um... Bum, ba da da bum, ba da da That's, that's all one. Now we put two. This is going to be stupidly overkill. Yes, turrets for the win. The, uh, oh, fun fact. Uh, this, this week, Wednesday, the, uh, event will be going live. This time, it's going to irk me massively, but there's going to be, I'm not going to tell you the, uh, Dark, oh, dark mint chocolate. Personally, I'm a big fan of uh, After Eights. But the one thing I will say is, uh, there's a smart, there's a smart, he's getting what? But one of the things I will say is the, there's going to be no limit on the builds, the, the build event, which a lot of people are going to be like, hell yeah. Just please don't go overkill. Alright, now this, this looks... I like mint matchsticks. Alright, so we have... All of the turrets... <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Alright. The poor man's PDC. Let's do it. Uh... Yeah, uh, it'll be... 
Wednesday it'll be going live. Um and then yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have some fun with it. Wednesday the the, the uh, build off will go live and then obviously you'll have like a little over a week to uh to get your designs in. It's gonna be fun though, it's gonna be very fun. Alright. Welcome to the turret boat. Now let me find something to shoot at. Hostile faction stronghold. Hostile warp signatures. Let's turn the difficulty down a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. No, yeah, no mods. No god, no, no mods. Yeah, no, like, even though you, you will see me fiddle around with mods, there's no mods allowed. Not currently. All right, PDCs, time to go live. Oh my god, this is awesome. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is amazing. If your ship doesn't have 12 turrets, is it even a ship? Oh, that is so cool. It is beautiful. No, not. All right, let's, uh, oh, now I want to, now I want to find one of, like, the big ships and try and see. We've got, what is that, Faction Stronghold. We'll go with this one. Um... Ooh. It's, to give you a slight hint, it's, it's something completely out of the box, and my girlfriend came up with it. Oh my god, this is so amazing. Oh, it's knocking me, oh no, it wasn't knocking me back. I feel like I'm the fucking Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, it is. It's like a sea wave. Have we killed it yet? Uh, I think we've uh, we've lost some tracking. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Can I can I dock here? Abandoned star station. No, we can't dock here. Ooh, oh yeah, I bet you fly. Oh no, never mind. Okay, I was about to brag. Yes, Michael, you do. By Jesus, this this like this is what I always wanted. Like I want like turrets like that. Like as you see, even with a lot of them on normal, they don't do like a crazy amount of damage. Like they're quite balanced. But I'd love those kind of like, those like, you know, like this, the high fire rate, low damage, like turrets. Just for the sheer like sci-fi factor. Like you'd be like, yeah, I got my, oh, we got more? Emergency distress beacon. Looks like someone needs some point defense. Oh, a Galbank assault ship. Hello? Are you stuck? Got you on comms. Hello? I'm just counting down the hours until I can sleep in a bed in some real gravity. Fair. See, I don't think this, this encounter is set up properly yet. Because I'm assuming what's supposed to happen is you come here and, like, the ship's obviously... Well, maybe it could be a pirating thing. All right, let's, let's find... Wait a minute, I have an idea. Give me a moment. Crib is about to do something really stupid. And potentially die. Uh, what's it called? Um...
I'm trying to find the um Well, I was I was hoping I could basically find the console command for the um, trading post. Want the turret? Yes, I do want the turrets from the expanse immediately. Ever since watching the expanse and the point defense guns, I'm like, yes, gimme. Oh, I'll fire every... Oh, oh, I will. What is that over there? Secure vault? Isn't that... That's how in Battlestar Galactica, that's how they get around, like, the... They basically put up flak fields. God, can you imagine, like, how much, like, kinetic energy ammo factory what is that we're coming in for a close inspection what the hell activate nice you gave me two ammo um Rogue AI. Oh. Did that just move? Oh no, it's. Hello, Mr. Rogue AI. I come in peace. Don't worry about my many turrets. Can I talk to you? You picked up contraband. Oh. Oh. See, that's kind of cool. I'm assuming this is part of the mod, but that's actually really cool. Let me really quickly jettison that. Um, how do I how do I move it to my misc? We're gonna store that. The containers at my capacity. Well, shit. All right, let's uh, let's try not to get arrested. Oh, more is popping up. What do we got here? Powerful hostile signal? Let's see how powerful they are. Grand General. Oh, hell yeah. Let's do it. I'm coming broadside. Bring all guns online. I will beat your shields like a gun. By the time the barrier falls, you'll be begging for mercy. Oh, we're, we're firing two targets at once. I critically hit the crew? What does that mean? Oh, Grand General. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a unique ship. Whoa, whoa. Stop firing. Stop firing. Stop. Well, it looked like a cool ship. What was that explosion? Oh, no. We got a trade vessel made a signal and what is that? Hostile faction stronghold. Let's go say hello. And there's the downside of the turret. Yup. <laughs> they need to have a way where you can turn them off. I usually just have like one turret when I play just because it looks cool and usually it won't do enough damage to uh Like, I feel like if you had that many small projectiles coming at you, you your sensors would be going crazy. We'll do the, the maneuver. 
in the expanse where we spin the ship, although spinning the ship, uh, uh, wait, you can turn them off? Oh, does that turn them off? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, thank you. Some things I know, some things I don't. Alright, let's, uh, let's go to the planet to kill this person. Kill the spacer. Is there any other games aside from Elite Dangerous that does the power pip system? I quite like the power pip system. No power, no pew pew. Hello, Nomad. Bonjourno. No, that's that's Italian. Bonjour. Nomad, you want to see something cool? Check this out. Give us a minute. Give us a minute. We just need to make contact with the enemy. Contact has been made. Even House Faroon can't. They're a little bit inaccurate, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, damn, House Faroon really bounced around. Uh, I didn't, but I see that they have, um... Uh, there's a famous actor in it, isn't there? She needs a Roman cat. <laughs> it's like, if these function like PDCs and like, you know, in-game, like, good luck trying to get a missile past this ship. I don't want to say that I'm a scientific gentleman, because, like, as much as I like sci-fi, I'm, you know, like, I'm a bit stupid. But I feel like if if grab drive technology is powerful enough to mess with the, uh, the Earth's magnetosphere, surely one blowing up would cause substantial damage. Like, in most science fiction kind of shows, blowing up your faster-than-light engine is, like, it's like the equivalent to launching the largest nuke ever in space. All right, we're landing. All right. <laughs> Could be, it could be an implosion. Oh, can you imagine the grav drive just like, like it disappears or like warps itself somewhere else? All right, here we are. I'm gonna tell my ship to go away. I'm gonna tell my ship, excuse me ship, I would like you to go away now, thank you. Bye, ship. Yeah, it does. Like, I love that the kind of the, the turrets move around. Thing is, I, I don't know if Bethesda ever do it, but it, I'd love if a modder made it so the turrets would function. Chris Hemsworth. Gravity doesn't explode. It, it doesn't. Well, not that we know. It, you never know. It might. Ooh, last mistake you'll make. Excuse me. See, the, the way grab drives work in this game, I'm not really sure, like, what they specifically do. Because I know, like, in... I love the, the terminology in, uh... You're talking about the trial and error of grab drive law before it got better? Yeah. Well, there was no trial and error. It was just the first time was very bad. But, like, in, uh, in, in Halo, anything with a wave is an explosion. Like the in 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 Halo, the faster than light travel, a uh, slip space. The way the way it works is uh, the way the Covenant kind of and the Foreigner slip space is. It's like you have a piece of paper and you have point A and point B, and proper slip space. You fold the piece of paper so that point A and B basically intersect 
on the other side of each other. The UNSC version is you crumple the paper. Oh yeah, like the fuel, I would assume helium-3 would be very explosive. Or helium, helium, helium-3? Is helium-3 helium, or is it... Like, obviously from a... Yeah, I can check some tenor, bro. The, the thing with, um... What did I just pick up? Oh, it's space communication. Yeah, that's it. Cause I seen, I seen like the two robots. They were like talking to one another. People were like, "Ha, oh, what you need me to do, Tanner, bro?" Space, the final frontier. My grandpappy colonized this world 200 years ago. I think it's supposed to be Isotope or something. Have you gotten the Neon Magazine number four? There's Neon Magazines? No, I haven't. Like, um, I'm, I'm ass the thing is, I'm assuming some part of a spaceship would be big. Maximum number of settlers, whatever you could call an outpost. Do you mind looking at the skill perk? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. No problem. Um, well, that one. Oh, yes, that is a good thank you, Alpha. All right, so... Where is it? So this one is crew members. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. Outpost management. Additional crew can be assigned. Well, that's not helpful. Uh, let me see if I can go to my outpost. All right, give me a second. I can, I can, I know console commands. Give me a second, give me a second. I'm going to go to my outpost real quick. All right, hold on now. We're going to go, we'll, we'll, uh. Wait, where's my house? Oh, no, we're, okay. Oh, uh, we're just trying to, just trying to fix him. So if I go, wait, I should be able to bring it up from the menu. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Crew. Okay. Let me just really quickly. We're going to go to a bar. Uh, and we're gonna basically hire a load of people. And then I'll do the console command to basically unlock that perk. Crimson is trying to... Well, calm down, Agamemnon. I, I, I resent that. Let me drop my stuff first, like he said. Uh, misc. I've been told in red 3 without the skill. Okay, well, I, I can test that. But uh, we'll go to Alpha Centauri and we'll find the sexiest looking people that have no names. <sighs> All right, let's go. I'm assuming it's going to be one of those things. Uh. What is, what is LSA? You can build three of those deaths and outposts, assign two crew to each, and that's total six. That's without perks. So what is it with perks, then? Would it just double? Um. Hello? Hello? Yes? You have room for one more on your... Alright, I'm interested. I think you'll agree. Yep. Ready to go on. Okay, sure. That's cool. Thank you. Getting there now. Okay. Yes, what? I'm looking to join. Hello. I'm only looking to earn the going rate. Excellent. Wait. All right, let's. We've got some no people. Problem. I will go to my outpost real quick and see. Apparently, this character doesn't have the uh, the trait. Well, that's what I'm about to find out, hopefully. 
if I can remember correctly how console commands work. Oh, it's a shout out. Oh, is it a football shout out? Let me guess. LSA. Los Santos Argonauts. Yeah, that's a team. All right, outpost. Pom 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 pom. Pom pom. Pom pom pom. Okay, so I can build three of these. <laughs> Lyman say that. Yep. All right, so let's uh, let's do some. Do some quick console commands. Um, hello, hello, hello. One of the one of the problems about playing a game is an. Uh, whoops, that's not how you spell that. Oh, it does work. Go up, press four. Nice. Is that's not how you spell aluminum. Aluminum, do do. Who's Rafa? Is that one of the NPCs? Player dot add item. One, two, three, four, five, five, seventy, and give us thirty. Help. Nickel. Any Americans ever use the term al aluminium? Or have you heard of aluminium? They're the, sa they're the same thing, technically, but... Myself and Binary have gotten many heated debates. There's an army for old-fashioned truck suspension system. There's an army for old-fashioned leaf spring army. <laughs> ah! Only in the shower? You've only heard of aluminium in the shower? What? The fuck? Or hab. Uh, I'll get there eventually. I need to uh, get some stuff first. Uh, illuminate. No, no, not illuminate. Aluminium. That's it. Illuminate is... Only use that term. Oh, so you've never... Because there's aluminum, and then there's aluminium. And, um... I was going to bring up... What is Leaf Spring Army for, uh... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 7, 2. 5, 5, 7, 2. Help. Iron. Your chat is lagging pretty hard, Crimson. Oh. Oh, that's... I, I don't know how to fix that. Thank you, Pete from Texas. Glad you enjoy. Yeah, they are the same. Um, uh, my chat should... Uh, Demolition Man, a channel covers the war Ukraine six nights a week, and LSA are the viewers. And the L Leaf Spring Army. Ah. Uh, iron, 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 iron. Iron. Go find. Where is it? Come on. Yeah, no. And like, bi the thing is, binary is like an American, or he's a Canadian. So like, he's pretty much British. I'm, I'm joking, he's not. Any Canadians out there, I do apologize. Player dot. Uh, player dot add item. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, e. Five, five, six, e. Michael, as as a builder in the construction, not construction, but as a kind of a, you know, you work with metals and stuff. Have you ever heard anyone refer to it as aluminium? All right, I think. Perfect. All right, sweet. I'm American. All right. So, is it like is it is it a common thing over there, or do people just say aluminum? All right, this allows you. Okay, so let's see. All Europeans, that that would make sense. Right, so now if I go to Outpost Manager, currently I can I can assign six. Okay. Now if I do, uh, 
I've only heard Irish and English people say it. Uh, I was going to say all of Europe say it, but then I realized that only Irish and English uh, would speak English. I was going to be like, yeah, I've heard Swedish people say it, but then, like, realistically, um... Alright, so then we're going to... There's a little fancy console command. Player dot add item. No. Add perk. Add perk. Skill. Uh, what's it called? Social skills. Give me. Outpost management. Zero, zero... Two, three, eight, two, six, F. Artistic installation. What's, what, how would you say alum, aluminium in, uh, how would you say that in, uh, French, Norma? It's like, le aluminium. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was offensive. All right, so now we have outpost perk number four. Just to confirm, we have it at max. Additional crew. And let's look now. No, no. So currently... Still six. That's... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. All right, so it effectively doubles it. Um, effectively doubles it, Tenebra. See, this is this is the sort of content I do. You know, I'm always keen to help people out. <laughs> All right, now back to my adventures. Where was I? Aluminium <laughs> with a constantly sexy. Voice. I like it. I like it. So twelve, yeah, twelve altogether. It's pretty nice. Aluminum in French is aluminum with a French accent. Aha. It's like I always I always mock TJ, my Swedish friend. Cause like tungsten is Swedish. Tungsten means heavy stone. Which is kind of funny. I mean that's probably a lot of a lot of like, you know, things are named after certain things. Oh, no Matt, while you're here. So you yeah, you just have to build six desks. I know, Matt. Really quickly, I gotta ask your opinion on something. This is very vital information as you're a resident Frenchman. Let me really quickly go back to... There's a character in game. And I, wanna, I want you to tell me in your opinion. Does he sound French or does he sound... Let me go to Hopetown. See, I kind of wish you could have more. Like the, the Fallout settlement system... I used to love, like, just putting so many settlers. Be like, yes. It's quite an interesting POI. We'll go back there in a moment. But I'm eating a purple snack. Something I find is a kind of a slightly idiotic um, person is like when you play games like Skyrim, like Khajiit, for instance, right? Khajiit, you know, they have a very interesting accent. And I used to always think, oh, like Khajiit, like they get voice actors that put on like a Khajiit accent. But then I realized Khajiit actually like there's people that sound like Khajiit. Well, they don't sound like Khajiit. Like certain dialects of Arabic is Khajiit, you know, like, that's... And it's always interesting, because I'll hear someone's voice, I'm like, you sound like a Khajiit. And then I'm like, wait a minute. Maybe Khajiit sound like you. Alright, so we got this gentleman over here, Nomat. I'm gonna talk to him. Okay. Is this him? Hello. This, this guy. Payday is always a good day. Just letting off some steam. For the <laughs> Can you believe these prices? Howdy. Howdy. 
Hoftown's got everything you need. Does this guy sound French, Noma? Hello. Yes, what? Pardon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Keep your eyes on your pockets. Hmm? My security cares. Yes. Yes, what? I love his voice. He sounds so chill. Hey. Oh, he doesn't? He's not French? Excuse me. Oh. Look, he kids you were a Mega Man. Well, what did he what did he say? Can we get translate? Quand jetant as an infant, I, you partook in a coup, a coup. Some good news around here. I know the French are partial to their, you know, coups, but. So this guy does not sound French at all. <laughs> Which is fair. That's fair. It's just when he says when he see again, when he says like pardon, because like like stereotypically we would hear um. Like, like, one of the things you can kind of, like, tell when someone's, or at least over here where you can tell the French, is, like, the way they say pardon and stuff. That's, like, yeah, that is a French man, oui, oui, or woman. All right, now to the mission at hand. We're going to see if I can get inside the other one. What, uh, what part of France are you from, no matter if you don't mind me asking? I know of a few places. Mainly, um, my band of brothers in World War II history. Over in Ireland, there's a thing you can do with your kids in a mountain range in the Auver. I'm not going to try and pronounce that because I'm going to That sounds really cool, though. All of our mountains in Ireland are like, they're kind of big, but they're in the middle of nowhere. I think it'd be very cool. That's why, like, one of the things I think is cool about France is like, and most of mainland Europe, but like, you've like, the, the landscape is a lot more rugged. Like, Ireland for the most part. It's like Ireland without the sea. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh... But, uh, over here, speaking of what you were saying there, uh, Agamemnon. Over here, like, we have, um... Normandy was a great place for you. I wanted to go there. I've always wanted to go to... Uh, what is it, um... One of the, one of the places, um... See, I don't know. I don't know if that's like insensitive, but I'd love to go see like Carantan in places, like places where like kind of like the battles were. Just because like I've watched so much Band of Brothers and stuff, and I've watched a lot of documentary stuff. Point. That's another one. Point to Hawk. But uh, anyway, what I was gonna say is, uh, it's like because Irish is not like it's not spoken very much over here, and there's regions called the Gale Talked. I think I've spoken this before, but basically the Gale Talk is regions on the west coast. And like kids will go, like they'll spend holidays, uh, like you'll go on a kind of a summer holiday. And basically like a family will take you in over there. And it's like kind of like an exchange program. Um, kind of, but not really. But you'll go out there to learn Irish because they say one of the best ways to learn the language is be immersed in the culture. Now, I don't know what culture they have on little craggy islands off this, the Irish or the Atlantic Ocean, but, you know. But uh, I never went as a child because I wasn't really too interested in Irish. I kind of wish I do now. But, by Jesus. I've heard horror stories. Like, in the Gaeltoc region, there used to be a thing. I don't know how true it is, but if you speak more than three words of English, they kick you out. Kind of like Father Ted almost, but not as comedic. Who's shooting me? Sir. There's some helium-3 here. Okay, let's not shoot each other. Are they not like a couple of hours? Um, or what? Those places? Or... Hey, 
Oh, you're a predator, are you? Well, today it looks like you're prey. Oh, don't, don't turn, don't turn your ass to me. Oh, they might be. I was here a long time too. Holiday in the Charenti. I mean, if you're holidaying in France, Agamemnon, man must be very upper class. <laughs> My holidays were in a caravan park. <laughs> Which there's nothing wrong with the caravan park, I will say, but uh. That's like, I don't know if that's like a big thing in other countries, but over here, like, there's a lot of caravan parks, and you'll go like, uh. Like on like the, the beach and stuff, and it's always like really cool because the environment's always really chill. Everyone's like super happy, super friendly. Oh my god, give me all the helium. Just ignore the naked flame. What do you guys call caravans in America? What mission board was this from? This was from the one in... The one, uh... Yeah, kind of RV park... Actually, no, yeah, you would be. I was actually going to say that. Uh, I got this from the one in the bar uh, in New Atlantis, just off the port, starport. Because, like, RVs is obviously, you know, it's a thing. But, like, caravans, they're, like, different. They're basically, you pull them behind a car. And, like, is, is that a thing in, like, America? Do you guys have, like, those things? Or is it mainly RVs? I do say I've always wanted an RV. They look so amazing, but they're also kind of expensive. Travel trails out, okay, yeah. Morning wall, bring comfort. They drop some stuff. Crimson House in France, the right region, were super cheap. God damn, that's awesome. That's. Fuck me, that's cheap. I'd love to have, like, a chalet. Bar does not narrow it down. Okay, the, um... The... Uh, what, what do you... The, the woman, she, like, makes you do... Uh... What's it called? The... Uh... Like, you know, straight off the starport, you walk in, and it's right by Jameson Memorial... No, no, not Red Mile. No, no. No, the bar in New Atlantis. Did I miss the New Atlantis part? See, like, because I know in, uh, in France you guys have, like, some of the old... Yeah, where the hunter hangs out. Like, you've got the proper kind of old school, like, kind of really cool villages and stuff that look like they're straight out of, like, the 1800s. We don't really have that over here. Probably a byproduct of, uh, Britain bullying us. No, I'm joking. That's a fucking big reactor, Jesus Christ. Ah, okay. That's all good. Fair, fair, fair. The viewport, that is it, yes. Thank you, Voyager. Thank you, Elevated, also. Michael, we gotta get Nomad. And like drop them. <laughs> hey now, we'll always blame England for everything, even when it's not England's fault. We gotta get Nomad and drop him in like, in like proper deep like uh, French Louisiana, and see if he can talk to the locals. Cause I know like that's something with like um, Canadian French and normal French. Small one out the hill, it's very green. That sounds awesome. So yeah, we don't we don't really have. I mean, the thing is, we have like old school like houses and stuff, but generally they're like kind of the Victorian era or the um, what was the era before Victorian? All right, this place is on fire. Well, my my caravan when I was younger was nice too. <laughs> I'm joking. All right, this thing must pump out so much power. Am I still over encumbered? Yes, I am. Yo, Crimson, I just want to say I'm in love with your Sparrowhawk. I'm having one of my friends draw a poster. Thank you. 100%. Send it. If you can uh, send me a picture of it when you do that, because that sounds amazing. Neither if you have Discord or uh, Discord probably the best one. 
if you hell, I would love to feature it on the channel. I love that ship. I think it's more Creole. What's Creole? See, now I'm not, uh... What? That's... I know of it. I remember Michael spoke about Creole. So I'm assuming that's a completely different dialect. Georgian. I think it was Victorian. Or Georgian, maybe. Where's the fucking door? Not French for sure. <laughs> oui, oui. Where's the goddamn door? Yeah. It is, it is nice. That's, that's the thing I like about the internet. It brings people together. It also divides people, but, you know, we won't focus on that part of the internet. You know, we won't blame the internet for that. We'll just blame people. Oh, I can bring a ladder with me. Perfect. Thank you very much, because that sounds awesome. I'm, uh, I'm inspired that... Ooh. Go to French. <laughs> Have you learned any in your time, Michael? Can you, uh... Can you dialogue with the... Can I throw a ladder? Yeah. See, like where my uh, where my uncle lives is quite a calm place. See, like it. The thing is, in in Ireland, like you have some more built-up areas. I live in the countryside, but like we're not far from civilization. But my uncle lives kind of more further, and it, it is nice and tranquil. Down the ramp. There's a ramp. Oh, over here. Requires that we need to find the computer, because I actually want to go out that door. I cuss me out all the time. <laughs> oh, God. I like, um... I always get paranoid when, like, I hear people talking in a foreign language just because I'm like, they're probably talking about me, even though realistically they're not. They don't give a fuck, but. Where's the... Is this the computer? Hello? Well, you are a computer. Are you the computer? Uh, I worked over there. That's... Cut up. I got... We're professionals. We're professionals. My cousin went there, and I, I was supposed to go with her. But I kind of chickened out last minute just because I was a bit nervous. Um, but I would love to go just for the, the food. Being able to see, like, a proper Greg's, it's like, yes. Are you fucking... Oh. Uh -huh. Like, some people, though, like, the confidence they have. Like, I... Like, if I'm out in public... The master should... Do I? Oh, the master... Oh, did I miss it? Okay, let me... Yep, yeah, my bad, my bad. Yeah, yeah, fair, fair. The, um... Like, I'm quite... I don't know if it's, like, if it's just, like, my generation... Because I know there's the meme about my generation, which I'm not sure what one it is. But, uh... Oh, there you go. Perfect. Oh, oh, that's oh, well, first perks partnership. Second perk, my bad. Like my generation is very kind of like awkward and doesn't like to cause confrontation. Like you'll like like I'll, I've seen a situation where like people will be like in like a queue, and they'll be like buying something from like uh off the you know let's say like they're at a cash register talking to the cash register attendant person. What can I say? I'm a professional. I don't think there was contraband, but let me double check. I think we're good. We got some xenon gas. I can hope that. Like, people will be having, like, a conversation on their phone while at the checkout and, like, stuff. And then there's me, who's like, I always give full attention to the checkout cashier person because I don't want to come across. <laughs> but then I suppose that's just, that could just be me being, uh. The AI gave you one. Oh, yeah, no, I dumped that uh, earlier when you first mentioned it. I was like, bye bye. Hello. We got an accurate representation of Michael here. No, I'm joking, Michael. Hmm. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna try and find a mod that lets me make that one like guy that I thought was French as a companion just because I love his voice. He sounds so cool. Oh, and we're back to the turret boat. All right, let's go. Take off. Imagine like you walk up to the ship and you're like, hell yeah, free ship to steal, and then all the turrets just look at you. I don't think I saw more than one but contraband. The cash in the vent didn't have any actual contraband in it for me. Yeah, see, sometimes you can pick up a, I like a brick ton of uh, contraband. And then sometimes it's like, here's one contraband. Good luck. We got a trading post. Let's go to the trading post. See what that is. Hello. Yes, do not be alarmed by my many turrets. I don't know why I do that accent. Borat is. Fucking some trading post this is. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be jumping on Discord after. So I, I didn't initially say last night because I was a bit tired. I thought I was going to just head to sleep, but then I ended up jumping on. I was chatting to you and Nogroth and Michael for a while, which is always good to chat. We got to get you in, Agamemnon. Haven't spoken to you. Well, I spoke, we spoke to you once, but I think the Discord was a bit, a bit popping off that time. Yeah, holy hailstorm. It's very nice. Water. So where's this supposed... To, there's supposed to be an outpost. Oh, trade it. Oh, does it actually work? Now, if I can trade with this, this mod's 10 out of 10. What? Hello? Oh, that's so cool! Trade authority at your service. That's so cool! This modder is phenomenal. Oh, that is awesome. So that little beacon, you activate it in a trade authority ship. Oh, she, she is very nice. Bit, bit, just, just a tad bit powerful. What is, what is that ship actually? Hello, is that a? What ship are you? You look interesting. I don't remember. What are you? How do I do my, my scan thing? Oh, there we go. It's a C class. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I know what it is. I think it's a Highlander, potentially. I just wasn't aware of uh, one that uses the Nova Gal No, it is. It's a Highlander. Yeah, it's a Highlander. There are tanks of contraband alcohol. Is there? What are we? Prohibition America? See, I kind of wish, like, um, if you play, like, No Man's Sky and also Space Engine or Elite Dangerous, like, big freighters have, like, um, you can, like, see what's in their cargo holds, like, and you can highlight them and shoot them and steal. And it'd be kind of cool if you could, like, highlight, you know, like, how you can go through the, the what you're targeting, different things. How do I do my target lock? What is target lock again? X? I can't remember what target lock is. I think I have to be in combat. But it'd be cool if you could specifically target the um, the cargo and like make them drop the ca I'm on a Xbox. What would that be? Because I know I can do it. I don't want to shoot them. I think I have to be in combat first. Uh, let's go to... What is this? emergency distress signal let's see if somebody needs 15 millimeters 30 millimeters and 25 millimeters of how do i do it what's the button to is it why no
How do I lock? Oh, I don't have the perk. I don't know. I do have the perk. Pum pum. Unlock the. Yeah, I, I have it. It's because I have no weapons. And you like burgers? Try to wimpy the foods. Cork? You have you been to Cork, Shari? I've been to Cork, I think, once or twice years ago. There's a place I keep seeing a lot of information on, on the, the TikTok. Uh, burger box, I think. It's, like, in Dublin. I just want to find a place that has some, uh... The point where my brain can't keep up with all the trivia science fiction reference. Highlander, the ship in Starfield. Oh, is the Highlander, uh... A battle mech, a TV? See, I don't know enough about, uh, stuff like that. I think I might need the manual fire weapons. Which I don't have. Get him, turrets! Oh, is it easy money? I don't think so, my guy. Yeah! Or kill. Ah, okay. Yeah, like I would see. See, I live in the in the Midlands, so like we have like some decent stuff. But occasionally, I go up to Dublin, and like Dublin is, you know, where you get all the nice stuff. Although some of the stuff you get in Dublin is, you know, I had that Bougem one time, which is basically Subway if you like Hispanic food. And it wasn't too bad, but I feel like it'd be like if you're... It'd be kind of like going to Subway and thinking it's your first ever... Uh, like, Italian style. Although, do Italians even have, like, subs? Uh... It depends where you go. Like, if you go to Temple Bar... Which is very touristy, it's extremely expensive. But, if you know where to look around... Like, realistically, I would say if you're going to Ireland... Unless... Um, unless you want to go to Dublin, which Dublin has some nice stuff. Just go to, like, find, like, a nice random town in the middle of rural Ireland. You know, the, the alcohol will be pretty cheap. People will be friendly enough. You don't have a strong enough, the Midlands. The, the, uh. Wait, sorry, you're a Brummie, aren't you? Aren't you also a Brummie, Agamemnon? Or are you? Am I miss miss my remembering? Sure. This was supposed to be a black market. What? Where's the black? Oh, okay. Is there nothing here? Space or scarab? And a space. Oh, you're not. Why did you say God though? <laughs> What's wrong with me for a burping? Poor Shari is gonna get offended. Oh. Uh, uh, you're no. Ah, you're no. You filthy Northman. Uh, so in Vanilla Starfield, you can use tile mid-cap piece to create step tiers for mounting side-facing turrets. Facing port. Ooh. Um. If you want side-facing turrets, these... Hold on, now, let me go photo mode. Now that's a picture. You can use these pieces here for side-facing turrets. Oh my god, look at that. Look at, look at, look at that. Oh. Oh my. You know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a man who is in, you know, like, I like my girlfriend very much, but there, this is doing something to me in a, in a non-weird way. And there's the one, the one turret that can't fire forward. It's like, I'm just here, hanging out. You're Lancash Lancashire. Show some respect. <laughs> we provide the country with the, the best chocolate, and you don't even, like, know what, 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 why are we sh Okay, we just shot a Galbank ship. Poor Leash. Uh, poor Leash isn't far from me. Was no way that could not be weird. You know, I thought as a, as an American, you'd like at least understand, you know, the, you know, the, 
don't you guys get a little excited when you know you see big explosions and tracers? Uh, Bob Flavin, as in the car guy? Worthless. Hey, I found my home planet. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I mean, it's not bad. Poor leashes. They have a nice supermax there. If you come over, Shari, if you come down to the Republic, try supermax. The tenders are phenomenal. The taco fries are amazing. How, why do you pronounce the Shire part? Lank, Lancaster. Lank, Lancashire? Is it Lancaster? Or Lancashire? It does. That's what I was going for, Rue. Very much PDCs. It's like, oh no, the PDCs are damaged. Let's spin. We. Although that's completely pointless. Oh, that's 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 rough to hear. Yeah, no, I've I've watched uh, some of his stuff on TikTok and stuff. I like his content, but I'm not a huge car person. Hopefully, he he does. Gets over that. That's. Lancashire, Lancashire. See, but I'm not from there, and I feel like if I said it like that. People from Lancashire would get... It's like, uh, have you ever seen the meme where the American, there's an American girl, she tries to say a Worcester and she says, wash your sister sauce. <laughs> and it's just like, yay. I can get behind it. Lancashire. Then where's Lancaster? Because what about the bombers? Is that a different place altogether? See, you Brits in your naming of places. You know, I thought Ireland was bad. No, we don't want to go. I go there. Uh, let's let's go here. And let's put on all the missiles. Americans see the parish. Uh, to be fair, I do too. I hundred percent do too. It's like when I um when I watched the uh was it Northmen, the the thing with the Netflix thing with. Utrid of Be Bebenberg. I started like uh, calling it, um, calling it like the places what they were in like that times, like Sussex and Wessex. Hello. Oh, Lancaster, just a town. Shire is where Tolkien got. Ah. All right, let's let's put some missiles. All the missiles. It was fun while it lasted, but we need more. Also, for anyone who hasn't seen this yet, yes, this is one of the weapons. Sadly, I can't use it because, yeah. Right, so we've got Hellfire Missile Turrets. Let's put... Bum, bum, bum. Come on, you, you Irish of Drahada. Drahada? How fucking hard is it to say that? You just don't say the G. G H in Irish is H. Drahada. Like most most of the Irish language, it's pretty straightforward. You just say it how it looks. Uh what else we got? We got the The shot cannon's pretty pretty meh. And then we'll have some some of these. You could use it if you disable the bill limit. See, I could, but that's effort. And I'm not that clever. Alright. And just for the memes, we're going to use some Hellfire turrets. Four. Eight. Twelve. Um... All right, let's do it. Adam bomb, baby little Adam bomb. Oh God, I'm gonna need to. I have T. Oh, very nice. That is my favorite power armor in the game. I love T45, even though lore wise it's absolutely dog shit. All right, no bother. As an American, I call BS the same. And Irish can sometimes be as insufferable. See, Welsh, Welsh just takes the piss. And if there's any Welsh people watching, I'm not. Do apologize. 
But like, there's like, they have like extra a lot. Like they use Y a lot, and to my knowledge, now I'm thinking because if you realize that in Ireland, um, I only took Irish for a little bit because most most Irish people don't speak Irish well. I don't think we have do we have Y's in Irish. Is why? Uh. Oh no. We okay. Yeah. Like why is not a we have it, but it's not a big. Uh, if a county in the, sh if if a county is a shire, County Crimson, it's named after its most important city. Ah. I don't think it would be Roman, just because the Romans wouldn't have used the. I say that as I have a nice... You can't see it, but my girlfriend got me a lovely map of the Roman Empire. Um, Le uh, Leicestershire. Leicester. Gloucestershire. Gloucester. Okay, okay. No, we don't accept that. Destroy the Crimson Fleet. Spectre. Deliver protein delicacy. Maybe not. Let's go. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, Irish, like, towns that, like, we'd, um... I'm trying to think of Irish towns that would be kind of tricky to say. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's some where, like, even I see and I'm like, what? See, a lot of, a lot of our uh, Irish towns are just, like, they're just direct translations like uh dublin which uh is i'm pretty sure now i could be wrong so Dub dublin is dublin which dove is uh black and lynn is a pool so it's blackpool uh, which i believe that's the old english there's also what we call it balia clea which uh balia is basically a castle and it's basically like dublin castle sorry thing now that you pointed out it's it's like the arma in the north has a weird name arma again you just look at the gh and just see h and it's not too bad arma like our ma basically if you the thing is if you if you listen to uh people from the north pronounce stuff you'll get more confused just because like the north is uh well, as someone who talks funny, they talk funny. They're like, hey, didn't I? What about you? Like, I, I think, I feel like that's where, like, the stereotype Irish accent comes from, is the north of Ireland. Because we have, like, uh, we have, what do we have? I'm trying to think of, uh, what are, like, some names of, like, towns? We're going to The Hague for war crimes. <laughs> Get our missiles. Double check the counties were named something Shire. Ah, okay, so it's Anglo-Saxon. Something Shire and Anglo-Saxon. Yeah, you... You Saxons. We got here, we got... A trading post. And an emergency is dressing. I will say it is, like, uh, it, it, it can be funny something. Like, I remember, um, the one time, uh, me and my cousin, we were, we were staying at a hotel in, uh, the Scottish accents. Oh, thank you, <laughs> don't laugh. I didn't even know the worms had accents. Yo, turrets, you gonna fire? Very broken. Ireland, uh. Karahin Dolph. Just, again, like, again, maybe, maybe I'm coming across ignorant, but just say it how it looks. Karahin Dolph. Don't know where that is, though. But, uh, we were, uh, me and my cousin, we were, like, uh, we were staying at the hotel, me and my cousin, and my mother. 
because uh, my cousin, she was going to college, and we were basically going down to uh, she was going to college in Sligo, which is on like the uh, west coast. And uh, we were staying in a hotel because our accommodation wasn't like set up yet. And I remember we were at the bar, and there was like this American couple, and they were like older. We get a lot of like older Americans. I think they kind of come over here, like you know, to which is fair, you know, it's, Ireland's a nice place. But they were like talking about places that like they were trying to like figure out. And it was like kind of like interesting, like listen to them, like try to pronounce certain things because they were basically they were like trying to figure out where a specific part of the country was. And I don't know if they were like if they were a bit clueless or they just got confused because they were trying to figure out like where Donegal is. And Sligo and Donegal are kind of close. I mean, to American standards, they're probably right next door. But over here. It's not close. Because I kind of interjected. Because I was like trying to... The thing is, like, you know, like in situations like that, you hear someone and like... You don't want to be rude, but at the same time you want to help them. Because clearly, you know, you unintentionally listen in and they're having some issues. How are your weapons down? Ah, that's a good idea, Michael. Now let's figure out which one it is. Let's power them all down. Remember another time I did my good deed, uh, me and my mother, we were, uh, we were pulling up the lane near where we live, and there was, like, a woman, and she was, like, parked pretty poorly. Are you gonna shoot? Shoot. I need to lock it. She was, like, parked really poorly. My mother, a bit of an aggressive driver, she was like, oh, person is parked horrendously. What sort of person is them? And then we went up to the shop, and we came back, and they were still there. And we realized that um, that they had a they basically popped a tire. So you know, we being the nice people, we stopped and we helped her. It was uh, and she was she, apparently she said she was from uh, Chicago, and she came over and like she rented the car and she rang like the rental company and they said it'd be two hours before like someone would come out and change the tire. And I was like, oh, I can do it and I would change the tire and stuff. And yeah, all. <laughs> Although, uh, you could tell she was, and again, I'm not trying to offend any Americans, but, um, the car she was driving was a manual, and, or it might have been automatic, but, uh, I took the wheel off, and I assumed she would have taken the car out of gear, or put the car in gear, basically, so that the car doesn't roll. She did not. I nearly lost my toes. The car rolled forward. And luckily, it was parked on a kind of an incline, so it didn't damage, like, the brake disc. Um, but, yeah, we, we got it all fixed and stuff, and she was really nice and stuff and talked to her. But, yeah. So, you know. Because, like, that's the thing is, like, because uh, obviously you guys have, uh, you know, you got um, manuals and automatics in America and stuff. Like, over here, it's, I'd say it's 90% manuals there is some automatics oh nowadays the kind of the newer cars are mac the thing is oh techno zealot the fuck's a techno zealot uh have you gone through the the unity because going through the unity uh increases the going through the unity increases the damage of enemies every time you go through unity What are you flying? Oh, you're just a reckon. Okay, so clearly some of these weapons need work. Oh, wait, no. Did they just fire? Oh, they need fire! Only one of them is firing. Oh. Well, the thing is, they did they did say they patched some of the um, some of the stuff with, like Michael was saying, they upgraded a lot of stuff with the most recent patch. God, that is, I love this. This is such a cool weapon. 
Oh, that's it's been so long since I've had like more than one crew members. Simeon never talks to me. Oh, this I love this. Do you ever watch the I did. Um Didn't mind it. I was a bit bit shocked to find out that all of them are like in their like mid thirties. I love how you hit the rocks and they just like yeah. All is well, Captain. All things considered. All things considered. Fire the missiles. Tommy Tiernan's a Dairy Girls. He's quite good Irish comedian. Captain I've, I've had my phone now. Uh, where do we need to go? We need to kill the ecliptic on board. Well, this doesn't bode well. Ha ha ha. Crimson turrets do that in vanilla. Same reload fixes it. Okay, let me... Well, one of them is actually shooting. It's just really slow. I'm being scourge of the skies. Technically, it'd be a scourge of the spit now. There we get it. All systems are nominal. Thank you, Atari. We're, uh, we're having some fun with some weaponry right now. Actually, I really like how this turned out. Because I like the original, the yellow jacket, but the color scheme is growing on me. Ready for action, Captain. Got a cool couple of videos coming out this week. Um, one of the one of the, the boys in the... Di or the boys, I said. One of the gentlemen in the Discord, uh, Tarkon. He uh, rebuilt uh, one of the ships in game, and he sent me a blueprint of it. So I'm going to be showcasing that. Um, and then we've got a. I felt like uh, I have a video coming out Monday. For most of it, it's more for the algorithm. Just talking about because there's been a lot of like, what is that? There's been like a lot of kind of talk of you know like oh where's all the where's all the Starfield con or where's all the you know the the updates and stuff so. I was like, well, now's the perfect time to make a video and be like, oh, don't worry, it's coming. Visual glitch is kicking off sneaking and became the headless scourge of the settled system. The... <laughs> so I've never been one to sneak. My unknown oh, location. What? What? 4,000 kilometers. Meow. <laughs> Had a, oh, derelict transport. Oh, I always do that. I rebinded my button. All right, we're boarding. What is it? Oh, is that a transpo? I think that's a transpo. In Vico. It's bored. Ooh. I've played a lot of Halo over the years and stuff, and what other hobbies are people into? Ooh. What is this ship? The fuck is this ship? This is a unique interior. Never seen this ship before. Who are you? A marine? What the hell happened here? Computer? Personal log. Can you believe it? I'm coming home. I can't wait to hold our son. I bet he looks like me. Hopefully he won't be a hothead. I love you. After having reviewed the medical board, I have declared Lieutenant M longer fit to serve an active duty it's my recommendation he be honorably discharged we thank you for your service i know you're all such a sweetheart but um a couple of months ago i kind of oh oh jesus christ oh god oh my god what the fuck Oh, Jesus Christ. All right.
but you know what? As the God Emperor of mankind, I can't abide by this. This poor soul died for nothing. Not in my watch. Are you still resurrect? No, there's two R's. No, that didn't work. Come on, wake up. Get up. How do you resurrect? R E S U R R E C T. Get up. Get the fuck up. I can let me let me bring him let me I could temporarily resurrect him with the powers uh void form no where is it where's the one where I can make someone can I can I really not resurrect this guy Apparently you can't resurrect. Oh wait, maybe, hold on now. Let me click him again. Res. That's not how you spell resurrect. Res, or, or no. Resurrect and PP. Oh, okay. Sorry, I apologize. Well, I, uh, we'll give you, hold on, I will give him, like, a Viking burial. Come here. You, you didn't deserve it, you sweet, sweet child, even though you're not a child. Come here. He was a Marine as well. Dude probably seen mad combat. He was a lieutenant. You, you, you died with your weapon in your hand, trooper. Come here. Give me the foot. All right. Um, do you have anything else? Yeah. Maybe it will bury you with your uh, your your favorite item. There you go. And uh, do we have a return address? This person. Where's this person from? We're gonna hunt this woman down. She lives in Neon? Did you say it? Neon? He works over in Neon. What's her name? Give him a that's, that's 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 offensive, sorry. Can I take this ship? Oh. He took a hammer to it. Alright, uh I'm I'ma pour one out for you, brother. Rest, rest easy, you poor soul. Ooh. This is a unique... Oh, that's cool! What the fuck is that? Canuck does bread? I didn't know Canuck brand pierogies and great... Oh, uncanned. Alright, we're, uh, we're leaving this place. We'll give him a proper Viking funeral. Give him a 21 missile salute. Why you gotta hit me in the fields, Bethesda? Why couldn't it have been like a happy ending, you know? Alright, ballistic specialist. Give me all power to forward deflectors. We're gonna... Oh, we wouldn't be notifying. We'd be shooting that woman in the head. 
How dare she? Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. I didn't mean to. All right. We, uh, we send your soul to Ethereum. May one day you walk again. That, that was, I felt like that was, you know, he probably enjoyed that, you know. And we, uh, move on as the ship implodes. All right, where are we heading? Yeah, rip, rip space guy. I hardly knew you, but, you know, you deserve better. See, it's stuff like that Bethesda does a really good job of, you know, like these little kind of stories. We should call him Dog the Space Guy. <laughs> Remember Dog was a funny die guy, go die, funny guy. Killed himself, though, because his wife was a whore. I'm sorry, that was a... Better looking than other... Yeah, yeah. It's like, I wonder if we, like, how they... Like, if we were to drag his body through the Unity, would he, like, come with us? Another day, another dog. Jesus Christ, Tenebra, what the fuck? Poor dogs. His body is still warm up in here. Making light of his situation. Where the fuck did I land? I don't see anywhere. Alright, we're exiting the ship. Uh, something that just put in my mind. If you guys have ever... If you ever want to see like a really cool kind of live action kind of trailer that... Does a really good job of hyping. The ODST, Halo ODST live action trailer is so cool. It's basically like they're training to be like soldiers and stuff. And it kind of shows the... The horrors of war. Um, oh, it's over there. Okay, let me tell my ship to go away. <laughs> Barrett's, that's where your mind go. He is an ant farm? Well, see, I'm a, I'm what you call persuasive. You know, I, I'll uh, give me like ten minutes. I'll talk to the version of myself. <laughs> Imagine you're just watching your ship fly and just implodes. It's like, well, I'm stuck here now. A creep. Vasco mentioned Barrett keeps several species of. It. That's cool. I wonder, can you find them in his? I don't remember seeing anything like that in his house, but I do remember him talking about Irving and his plants. Like, Bethesda have such this cool animation where the ship flies off into space. Like, they need to, like, reuse that more. Like, let me, let me... Yeah, no, they do. They do it really well. Like, hell, Bethesda's cinematics used to be just, like, a projector with the voice actors spawning in behind you talking. The amount of times you'd, like, uh... It's not a farm. It's just a few stray ants in the... What? He has ants in the cargo hold? Purge the ship! See the same clip of Ant Farm in space. He has Shatter and the ants going save the queen. Who's the queen on the fuck? <laughs> oh. Deserted relay. Why am I over... Am I over encumbered again? Yeah, of course I am. Oh, well. It was fun while it lasted, but you go away. Go to Tog. Who are they shooting at? Hi. Um, I will. I will take a hot chocolate, please, with milk, not water. For some reason, I might think about Barrett from. Yes, he said. I mean, yeah, fair. I feel like. I feel like we could domesticate heat leeches if we try hard enough, you know? Just imagine you got a, like a terramorph on a leash. Like, down, Fido. Don't eat the man. No, stop telepathic communicating with him. 
All right, Ecliptics, I've had a shit day. I just ran a poor guy who killed himself because his woman was unfaithful. Don't, don't piss me off. Yes, yes, you know me, sorry. If your girlfriend ever leaves you and mine leaves me, I'll hit you up, my man. What would Doug do? I mean, honestly, Doug was probably a fucking idiot. If, you know, like, realistically, the signs were probably there. If your wife's leaving you before, like, you know, like, it was probably there. But you never know. He could have been unstable. We don't know why he got medically. See, this is the lore of Doug we'll never know. Like, he could have gotten medically discharged, because what if he had, like, schizophrenia? What if, like, what if his girlfriend wasn't even real? And he was just re texting himself. You know, we'll never know. Because he, he just ended his life too soon. Ooh, the settle system has many varieties of peaches. I think peaches are pretty mid, personally. Plum, fair enough. What the fuck? Who's, who's growing these fucking fruit? He tried domesticating on Crete. We all know how that went. Yeah, but see, you gotta be persuasive, you know? Like, you gotta be the alpha. But you gotta look at... Do Terramorph have eyes? You gotta look in the Terramorph's eyes. And be like, I'm the captain now. And pray to baby Jesus. Yeah. Doesn't always work, you know? Fucking Johnny Bravo, what are you doing in Starfield? What is that hair? Ooh, money. Give me. Crete signs are trying to remote control the Terramorph, not to masticate them. See, that's that's something the uh the 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 elite uh not the elite danger, the um the Enclave did in in Fallout, and it worked well. Look at right in the tentacles. See, if, if Ark has taught me anything, I just hit him with some really heavy tranquilizers, beat the shit out of it, and then force feed it meat. 100% works. That's how I got my last dog. But I also am not allowed near the pet shops. Those two are unrelated completely. All right, extreme ambient cold. Nice. Now, can I call in my ship? Okay, this might be problematic. I need to find a flat spot on this planet. Did you say Arrakis? No, not Arrakis. <laughs> Domestication through mind control. See, I tried that on my girlfriend. Didn't work. She just slapped me. Just sit there for 12 hours. <laughs> yeah, 12 hours. You must be playing on some single player, Sassy. Like you just sit there for like, like I want to say on on official originally on official servers, taming like a giga it was like over a day. Checking landing site. Well, it's not gonna be. Oh, okay, we may be lost here. See, this looks flat. What is that? Oh, that's nothing. Alright, we're just gonna have to we're gonna have to run to the uh the landing zone. See like Ark is a very fun game, but like when it first came out, like what sort of madmen developers are they to think that players are going to sit there for more than an hour and wait for something to tame? Like a T-Rex on official servers was like sixteen hours. Remember on a server me and Binary played, and Binary spent like, he spent like 10 hours taming a Brontosaurus, tamed it, walked it the whole way across the map, it took him like an hour, this is on a PvP server, uh, that one didn't, I don't think, that's, I think that's why it landed me away, but he literally spent ages walking, because we lived in the, uh, we lived in the ice, uh, ice 
area of the top left of the map. And it fell off the ice shelf into the water and got eaten slowly by a megalodon. Yeah, that's that's how it is. It's always the same. Like Ark is fun, but by Jesus, it can it can hit you with some moments where it's just like. Cause I remember Biner's like, I've never seen him so like sad. He was like, you know, Crimson, I'm gonna get off now. I'll talk to you later. Like I was like, Jesus Christ. That's why I don't get attached to creatures on Ark on multiplayer. Single player, I put the stats up massively. Yeah, no, not Arrakis. Uh, Arrakis is probably also a very treacherous place. So why didn't you tame the Megalodon? Because it wasn't worth it. We killed it with violence. Well, I killed it with violence. Binary got offline. My, uh, my Pteranodon's that good tonight. Oh, okay. As in Arrakis from Dune? Somebody just living in a container? Shari, is this your holiday home? Alright, where are we going? Uh, am I not near my landing pad yet? Oh, there it is. Okay, let me call it. I was running the wrong direction. Let me see if I can call it in now. Uh, hello, Mr. Ship. I need you. Oh. <laughs> I can imagine my car like, damn it, I can't get signal. My ship is just out of orbit. I gotta wait another 24 minutes. The name of a lich I made for camp. Ah, okay, okay. Ooh, chest. That chest looks way too big to have some sterile nanotubes. Is this an oil rig? Have I found Texas? This is an oil rig, isn't it? What are we producing? Can you hear me now? <laughs> Literally. Like, Simeon, Simeon, bring the ship back. I could, but that's, that's like, that's in, that's levels of intelligence beyond my imagination. You know? Just like Simeon's up there having a party with those two random crewmates. I just enter, I just like, yeah. yeah, the captain's been gone a while. Do you think we should go back down? Like, no, 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 trust me. If I know one thing about the captain, he doesn't like being bothered. Where the fuck am I going? Where's the... Where's the landing pad? Well, this is a... This is, this is a flat area. Alright, good, okay. Only Todd knows. They're, they're drilling for content. Alright, my ship should be here. Oh, good, good. I thought I had to go bear grills there and drink my own piss. Come on in nice and gently, Simeon. Nice and gently. Oh, 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 oh. Don't want to get crushed. I feel like the backblast of that would knock you flying. Nice. God, we're gonna bring the ship to a car wash. She dirty. Alright. Alright, I think I'm gonna call it there for tonight, folks. Uh, thanks for joining me. Like I said, I'm going to jump in the Discord for a little while. Just chat, so if any of you guys want to. On the Discord, we have the Aurora Lounge. And yeah, I will chat to you guys later. Don't forget, uh, so the, the video for the competition will be going live Wednesday. And then you'll have till next Wednesday. And then the live stream. But yeah, thanks everybody for joining. Have a good one.